<laughs> Wait, hi, how are you? Hello, so, are you? welcome. I'm doing fine. Thank you. Welcome to TIFF. Uh, actually, uh, well, I saw the movie, so I'm not going to ask you about that just yet. Uh, but I would like to talk about your profession, about its difficulties, and what would you like to tell to people that are would like to pursue the career that you're having? Because it's very, it's same as in Wall Street. It's a cutthroat <laughs> yes. area. Yes, it, it, it is, it is, it is. Um, what's, the, what's the first one you want me to answer right now? Whatever you want. Okay. Um, our existence is constantly being challenged. So more than ever, this is why I think so many of us want to do be ourselves and come out of the closet. This is why you see this Toronto is so liberal in the sense like it it welcomes new new queens. So I welcome new queens um, to bars, to stages, to create safe spaces for us and for the next generation to come. Because um, the more and more I realize is. I guess people are trying to erase our happiness, and it's just me, me just wanting to live life. Look at me, look how fabulous I am, and I'm living my life, you are. and I'm happy, and that's what all we want to be is happy and mind our own business. So I think other people need to mind their business as well. No, I agree with you because um, there's a lot of people that even they when they go to the shows. They just want to go there out of curiosity, and then uh, you may end up being judged. And like, is it's like a question: What are you doing in here if you don't like what I'm doing? You know what? Honestly, life right now is like a big high school, and everyone you have your bullies, and then you have the cool kids. We are considered cool kids. I I do not care. I know we get bullied sometimes, but we will always stick together. Um, in saying that, I just did something phenomenal just about a week and a half ago. I was the first drag queen to have a show at the CNE in history. So I think we're making great progress <laughs> in that. And that show was one of the biggest shows of the season. And uh, and they're inviting me back. And I, I, just things like that create positive openness and people wanting to come, and it creates a safe space. And yeah, and I just I, honestly, if you haven't been to the drag show before, come out. Honestly, nothing will happen but fun. No, I know, yeah. and and actually, actually, that like I said, I'm keeping the movie outside of it because there's a lot of information you can share with other people as well, and yeah. with my audience too. Like, um, being part of this industry is also very tough as well. Like, you also need to be. It's like the search of the concept, the, the search for the right song, the, the search of the right show. Literally. How, what do you do? Like, how do you find the one oh that you know gosh. that will satisfy the audience? I'm lucky to have people who believe in me so much that they send me information. Like, I'll, I'll be home today and then I, I literally will get a few emails saying, oh, have you heard this song? It's all about sharing and communication. So, like, I like to communicate with my fans and be open with them and, and ask prompt questions sometimes. That's the beauty of Instagram. You get to do those little stories where you're like, hey, today, I don't know what what's a good song, and all of a sudden tonight I will have like a hundred suggestions and stuff like that. So it's willing it's willingness to be open minded about things. Yeah, I've done a bit quick research before I knew that you're gonna be arriving. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> yeah, as you see, I'm talking to you like I know you forever. Isn't yeah, you're, do, you're very good at your job. Hello. No, I am like, good at asking questions. That's for sure. I'm like, <laughs> but no, I, if I'm interested in subject, then why not? Yes. Um, and you're a quite interesting person as well. So I wonder, like, you have impersonated many, many famous people. Which one is your the favorite? The main one I've been doing is Whitney Houston. But this year, I'm taking a stab at uh, Donna Summers. That will come out soon. <laughs> not sure, not sure where yet. But you're going to be start seeing me do Donna Summers and dabbling to dabbling to a time. Uh, What's it, what's it? Tina Turner. That's the big shape from Whitney Houston to Donna Summer and then Tina Turner. But I think I look like Donna Summer is a little bit more. I have this wig being made. It's gonna look. I'm gonna look so good. It's gonna be good. I'm excited about it. Well, thank you for coming. Thank you so much. Thank you.